When Dobbs fell, it is not a coincidence that the state of Texas and then the state of Florida began attacking trans kids. The fight for bodily autonomy is not just about if, when, and how to decide when to become a parent, but it's also about who we love, who we're able to marry, who we're able to start families with, and how we express ourselves. The attacks that the ultra-right especially have levied against reproductive justice are the same attacks that we are seeing, the same strategies we're seeing on gender-affirming care. I think if you live in a marginalized body um, and you're just generally policed more and there's more litigation against the actual shell that you live in, it makes healthcare kind of a dire place to be for some people. TransHealth is an independent, comprehensive healthcare center that provides gender-affirming health care. While we do clinical care, we are so much more than that because we believe that gender-affirming care is more than what just insurers decide, is more than what just happens in the clinic or in the therapy room. But we as a community decide how we are best cared for. Trans Health is a place where people can walk in and know that they will get that care without any obstacles. They understand that their patients' needs are sometimes complex, and that includes offering abortion care. So I think it's really extraordinary how forward Dallas and her entire team have been, and frankly, how fearless they have been in integrating reproductive health care into the um, gender-affirming care that they offer here. And unfortunately, in this moment in time, we are witnessing the most profound attack on bodily autonomy and the ability and the freedom and the liberty to choose your own healthcare journey. And we believe that that's just unconscionable, that we need to stand up against that and we need to stand for the individual's right to be able to choose their own healthcare. These are dangerous times to provide healthcare to the LGBTQ community. There are real threats to providers and yet Dallas and the people and providers at TransHealth have cultivated a community of joy. They have cultivated a community of love and they have created a place where it is safe for patients to come in and celebrate exactly who they are. One thing that I really am, I love about Dallas is that she's someone who is who is the, the face of this organization. She's a leader within this organization, but at every opportunity, she turns focus back to the team and she's really becoming a national leader in this work. I think the fact that I and being recognized by Reproductive Equity Now really symbolizes and shows that we are in this movement together, that we are not alone, and that we are fighting for the same cause, the freedom to simply be.